I have had a spontaneous awakening from 20th of June. I have been all over the place and found no solution. And I have energy all over me. I have been through complete psychosis, maddening, trying to kill myself. I'm left with a question in my mind, what is my purpose? I can't control this energy. I've been to doctors, gurus all over the world. I mean, all over India, with no solution. Luckily, I landed up in Rishikesh. I'm from Dehradun, because somebody said he can help me. I've been, I've been like a patient. You know, I have a 74 year old mother, seven year old daughter, and a wife who are living in Calcutta. I can't travel. When my daughter asks me, why can't I come for a birthday? I have no answer. I have movement, shake, all kinds. I have slept from from 20th of June. I can't sleep at all, even with sleeping tablets. Doctors think I'm crazy. What's your name? Yadavendra. What? Yadavendra. Yadavendra. So, do you know what is happening with you? You are, have someone told you? Yeah, there's. Uh, so I have read, you know, I've read Kashmir Shaivism, I've read Gopi Krishna, I've read it all, and uh, it's it's moved. There's huge pain in my spine. I couldn't walk. There was so much energy in my legs, and my mind was. I see visions, and I see all kinds. Of, I've gone mad completely. You haven't gone mad. It will be all right. Look at me. Were you doing any practices before? Not really, just some, you know, yoga teacher would come and teach me. So you have done some yoga? Yeah, I've done some pranayama and some yoga. I used to work for ITC as marketing manager. I was diagnosed as bipolar disorder. I got depressed. I was honest enough to tell the company and they said, go, go look for a job. In the meantime, my father went into coma. So like a good son, I decided I'm going to quit and come and look after him. I built a hospital at home and then one night, you know, the medicine stopped acting and I started getting all this strange energy and pain in my spine started moving up. Okay. So, what you have is a Kundalini disturbance. Yes. And what that means is that the Shakti, which is lying at the bottom of the spinal cord of every human being actually, this is a Shakti, Kundalini Ma, which actually is meant to move through the system at times when the system is in trauma, whether it is material trauma, actual physical trauma, or it is emotional trauma, or conceptual trauma, you know, in the thinking, like you've been through, when you feel you're going mad and things like that, or other kinds of trauma, creative trauma and so on, each one corresponding with one of the layers of consciousness with which or through which you perceive your environment, okay? Yes. Now, what has happened in your case is that there has been a spontaneous, what you call a spontaneous disturbing of it. It's not an awakening because Kundalini Shakti is awakened already. We don't have to awaken her, you know. So in your case, what has happened is that through some action could very well be a yoga asana that you did or an extreme pranayama. Anything is possible. It could be even it happens to some people through an extreme sexual experience, it can happen through meditating, through chanting. There are very many ways by which this can be disturbed, it has happened to you. And the good news is, the good news is that there is a way of quieting Ma. Ma will quiet if you bend. Now to start with, come and sit down here for a moment. Can you bend? Can you bend down? Just try to keep on bending down, yeah. And if you want, you can, you can also just wake up, sit up again, come down, down again, sit up. As long as you can bend without causing yourself any pain, okay? What it is, is it's a position of surrender. Because this pain happens in the system when the Shakti is trying to flow in order to release trauma experiences, but because the ahankar or the ego is very big, it starts to block it at different layers of the being. So what you do is, is in a state of humility, bending down to the antaratman or the soul, that bending down posture is what will quiet down and let this energy flow without that much resistance. 
and you will have less pain so it is a life long now of bending down so don't be afraid it will be all right now first you just try to feel surrender you know the antaratman you know yes. what that is yes. yeah so try to be a little bit in surrender to your soul not trying to think i am the soul but rather i am your servant and i'm bending down to you because you know essentially there is no other choice it's a beautiful path to move life has made you forced you into this corner you understand yes. you just be in surrender and i've seen many many people who have had this it's not the first time okay and it has relieved through this process so don't worry it will be fine yadavendra yes ma'am how are you feeling my hands are going to sleep otherwise i'm fine how many years since you've been suffering this 20th june 2019 Just so 6 7 months huh? the thing is because there are too many responsibilities there has to be a purpose i was lost before it awoke i had this question in my mind what is my purpose i was calling up cousins a lot of people and asking me what is my purpose and started laughing at me are you feeling any sort of even sort of a change or any sort of relief or anything or are you still in a state of distress i'm calm your calm yeah. okay If you feel distressed just tell me okay not to be afraid you understand it's, it's ma don't have to be afraid of her you have to surrender then she can flow if you if you say yes 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 to her she won't slap you you know what i mean no sense of awakening in me i've seen so much poverty around that i need to do i don't know what uh, self actualization or realization is but i I've, i've seen that i've been from hospital to hospital i've been from from same to same and i got no relief so how do you think this relief is going to come what is it that is not happening because it's obviously kundalini shakti right yeah. that much we are agreed on right what i'm looking for is that to completely surrender with your help and you just take the decision now to that and I'm, i can live in both worlds i surrender to you like you don't have to surrender to me it is about understanding that you have to let go of all those ideas you have just let go of it all and just be in surrender state servitude state to the shakti that that is the only way out of this or into this dance with her and i told you that it will be all right if you move continuously back into the state of surrender and then everything will open up the blocks will open up and it will flow quietly <sighs> oof So well I think he has uh, it's a big sigh in this one here I yes. I know I know I know I mean I know what those who few were here yesterday you would have seen uh, that uh, uh, kundalini disturbed kundalini yes quiet So blessed to be back again and thank you for allowing me to be in your presence you've taught me surrender and the moment i come in your presence and the moment i come into the hall everything just all the pain and all the energy just disappears thank you you mean that the physical pain the physical pain i'm just lucky that i called mitesh and he was gentle and kind and gave me so much time just to say to those of you who weren't here yesterday yadavendra is your name right yes He said that on 19th of June you said do I yes. remember that correctly he had a he had an uh, kundalini sort of i call it a disturbance and it started to just move in the system and he hasn't been able to sleep since then then yesterday he came here and then we did a little bit in the open satsang taught him a little bit something and so and now he's here today and the pain is at pain least it's less, less. and uh, 
I um, again did the surrender kriya that you taught me and I slept for about seven hours after God knows how much time. I've forgotten what sleep was like. When was the last time that you slept like that? I haven't slept like that for, for eight, nine months whenever seven… Months? Months. Oh, so since it started? Yeah, I… I at okay, best very good, very one good. One and a half hours, two hours sometimes, otherwise no sleep. I just keep uh, looking at the sky and praying and uh, I've been to Guru. And, and the energy is… Well, when I come in your presence or if I do the Kriya, the energy goes into… Uh, into like a pipe shape. I mean, I have feel a little bit of it in my feet and in my legs, but the terrible pain and the terrible movement in the the spinal column mm -hmm. is not there. I was able to have two meals after a very long time. I, I mean, there are times I go without any meal. Uh, so I have very severe uh, physical symptoms. I can have diarrhea for days on end. I can have no motion, I can eat as much as I want and no motion. I was able to go to the loo also after a very long time. I'm blessed to be in your presence. Yeah, it'll get better, don't worry, it'll be fine. It's just that you have to… I'm, I'm here, no? It's already better in one day. I said it will be all right, so it will be all right, okay? I have too many responsibilities. Well, I don't know if you'll be able to fulfill your responsibilities, but I know that you won't have pain. You have to understand that life has done this to you because you're supposed to do something else, no? You cannot think of the responsibilities now, okay? It's just a matter of little time, it'll be fine. My question was, can you talk to Ma and tell her that right now I want to function, can you just take it easy on me? I need to go and visit a lawyer, I need to go to the bank, I want my hands to function fine, please allow me. Look, yesterday you came here, you haven't slept for seven months, more than an hour and a half, last night you slept for five hours, take it easy. Take it easy, don't push her into anything. Right. Just bend down and surrender to her. That's what is being taught to you. Yes. Your lawyers can wait, your house can wait, your children can… They've waited for seven months. You've lost your job and everything. Yes. What is left to lose is that sanity you're getting into now. Right. So please give it some time. Okay. Stop pushing your way through again. One day of relief and already it starts. Mirko ye chahiye, mirko wo chahiye, mirko. How will it be? You say. Kuch nahi chahiye, just sanity. Ha. So, if that's the case, then that's a lawyer will wait. Because in a state of surrender, you don't ask for anything. I cannot say, Ma, now do this and do that. I can't do that. I mean, this is Kundalini Shakti. This is not, uh, you know, someone you can, you can mess around with. It's. It's already a big thing that you've slept, that she's allowed you to sleep, right. right? And I will not ask her for anything, I cannot do that. And you shouldn't either, right. be grateful from moment to moment for what you're receiving, right. okay? Don't try to push things now, one day of relief and already I want to do this, I have to go to my lawyer, I have to go to the bank. What if you couldn't have gone to the bank for one month because you couldn't move, then? Right? Just dheere dheere, dheere dheere. One step at a time. Yeah, absolutely. It'll work, it'll be all right, but you cannot try to push your way through. That's exactly what she's trying to teach you. Just chill. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ten thousand seven hundred thirty-two answers. <laughs>